hi guys welcome to my channel Ashley's Joys today I'm going to be telling you guys a story time I actually already recorded this video and I didn't post it um, because I feel like the video was all over the place so let's get straight into this video though this video is going to be talking about the time where um, we were at Walmart when there was an active shooter yes an active shooter somebody who had a gun who actually shot in the mall in the store. So you want to hear about that? Then keep watching. So this story actually took place last year, um, right before this year in 2016. Um, this is right before Christmas. And if you guys follow me on Facebook um, or I think Instagram as well, you guys probably would have seen my live video that I posted from the incident. Um, so basically, last year my mother and my brother came in town. They were coming to visit me here in Arizona. And when they got here, um, it's crazy how things happen too, but when they got here, um, we went to Walmart to go grab a blow-up bag. At the time, I was staying with my friend and their family, and, you know, we needed to get a blow-up bag. So, the crazy part is when we got to Walmart, I was going to go into Walmart alone initially. I was telling my mom and everybody they could just stay in the car. I was going to run in there and grab the blow-up bag and come out. But since they had just got the plane, there were things that they needed also. So they were like, no, we're going to come in too. We're going to come in too. So I was like, let's go. So we get into Walmart and all of us were basically just like, you know, walking and grabbing things. And then we went over to the blow beds. And when we got there, I just remember we were reading what the bed said and like how many pounds and just like, you know, like just seeing what the features of the beds were. And I, I remember reading um, one bed in particular, and right when I was reading it, I heard what sounded to me like gunshots. Oh, I'm sorry, my phone just went out. <laughs> but it sounded like gunshots, and I'm like, like why, why, like, why does it sound like there's gunshots inside of Walmart? Like, why? So I look at my brother, and I'm like, and I look at my mom, I look at my friend, I'm looking at all of them like, are those gunshots? And then my brother was like, eh, I don't, I'm like, it's weird, because it's like it was inside of Walmart. So as soon as we hear that, out of nowhere, people are, they're running, they're screaming. Like, all you hear is like, it sounds like a crowd of people coming towards us and just, I'm just like, oh my God, like, there's an active shooter. I'm thinking, I'll remind you, mind you, there's a lot of things happening in the world today where people are going to churches they're going into restaurants they're going into buildings you know concerts and they're just like you know shooting everyone so in my mind all i seen was people running through walmart just shooting everybody that's what i was thinking in my head because you don't really know what to expect you don't really know what's happening all you hear is gunshots and you're like wow okay you're thinking that they're about to just try to shoot everybody so as soon as we hear that i look at my brother and when we started to hear people running my brother looks at me and he says he looks at everybody else and he's like, this, this is this is real, like this is real. So as soon as he said that, it was like this instinct in my body, like, okay, we gotta go, we gotta run, we gotta, we gotta, you know, get protection. So this, um, we're running, we're running, and I'm like looking for my mom and my brother. I don't know what I was thinking, but in my head, I'm just trying to run ahead of them to make sure nobody's like, I'm trying to protect them. Now it's crazy how when something like this happens, your natural instinct is to protect your parents and family. So everybody is thinking that. So, you know, everybody's trying to protect everybody. My brother's trying to protect me. My mom, like, I'm trying to protect them. Like, everybody's just like, you know, make sure everything's okay. And my friend, he's like trying to protect them. And, you know, and he's standing in front of us. And everybody's just like running. So when we see everybody running, we're following where the crowd is going. And they go to the back. Basically, it's this area where there's, um, you know, like where you have the, um, like, storage and the stock the stuff that you would put on shelves we went we ran over there and when we got in there it was um employees who were like leading us to where to go so obviously i'm pretty sure they trained for you know active shooter situations and things like that um and those boring classes i remember those whenever you get a job you have to take those like watch those videos yeah it's one of those so we get to the back and we're standing there and like all I hear is people crying. I'm just like, oh my God, look at my mom, my mom is shaking. And my brother and my friend are standing in front of us like nobody's gonna get past us. They try to shoot, you know, anybody, they're gonna shoot us first. And so like, we're, they're just standing there. And as, and, then, and we hear people talking and something about a baby got shot, something about somebody got shot. This is before they really knew what was happening. 
And so we hear everybody talking and then um, I'm I, at this point I'm getting kind of scared. So I'm trying to use my phone, trying to call people, let them know what was happening, let them know. And we call um, I call my god sister. And she's like on the phone with me and I'm telling her what's happening and she's letting like her family know because everybody's like what's going on. They see it on the news and stuff and we're still in the store as it's on the news and the helicopters and everything is surrounding is Walmart. Now at this point we didn't know all this was happening because we were in the back. So after we get done like sitting there for like 45 minutes to an hour, um, they have us leave out of the store but through the back. It's like an area that they have you go to for these situations. And it's like you go to these, each point to secure and safe and they move to the next point. So we go to the back and I'm going to, um, if I can find the footage, I'll insert some here um, of what we were doing. But we go to the back and I mean, we go outside. And as we're going outside, this lady, she just like fall over. And I thought in my head, she's the one who got shot. She fell on the ground. She was in a wheelchair. She was just crying and screaming. And apparently she has some type of disorder. So that's why she fell out. But we have going to these pickup trucks. And we were there for like a good 45 minutes again, waiting and waiting and waiting so we can go to the next spot. So then they move us over to the to the side of the building and then we move to the front. And at the front, we can see the store. We can see, you know, everything at the beginning of the building. And there's literally cops, like 50 cops and helicopters and they tape off everything and everything is shut down. It was crazy. Here's the sucky part though. When we were looking at the blow up beds, my purse was in the um, cart. And when we were leaving, you don't think nothing of your purse, you think of your life, so I ran, so my purse is in the store. So I was trying to get in contact with somebody to get my purse, I had all my money, everything was in there, like everything. Um, so we we're trying to get, see if we can get in the, like somebody can look and see if they see my purse. So at this point, the place is secure, there's nobody in there to their knowledge. But they couldn't let us in there because they said they had to make sure the building was secure. So basically, we ended up having to go home. So we got into the car. We couldn't technically leave out because they blocked off everything, but we kind of like slid on under. <laughs> and um, we got home. And I was actually really shook enough by this because there's so much happening in this world today. Like, you don't really know what people are capable of doing. But so what ended up happening was apparently two guys got into an argument and um, one left and came back. He was so angry. He left and came back and shot actually shot two people one person was in critical condition the other person um where they were both in the hospital but one of them was in critical condition thank god they both survived but this is what made my faith even stronger because i remember when we were at the we were just in the area that the man got shot we just left that area we just left that area and i remember something kind of like felt i felt this need to go to look at the blow up beds at that moment and i had no idea that was about to happen so it was like right before so it just made me think like wow we could have been over there and it just made me really appreciate, you know, just my faith and just God and just feeling led to do things. Because sometimes you don't know, you can be at the wrong place at the wrong time. And when you feel that feeling in your chest and your heart to move or to go, do so. Because God gives us instinct and it's for a reason. I was shook up by the incident for a little bit. And even that night, I had like a nightmare about it. Because it's just the thought of somebody just that angry to go home and to come back and shoot somebody. I mean, with the intentions of killing them. For, us, for what? Like, what? What is? What is really that serious for us to do these things? You know, to each other. This society, it scares me. All this stuff that's happening, it just makes me realize like we have to stay prayed. We have to stay in prayer. And we have to really have, you know, a good heart. Like, you really have to start walking in love. Because there's a lot of things people go back and, and hurt people for. It. It's not really worth it. You know, people. I know a friend who her one of her close friends, the girl. I guess. You know, her boyfriend was cheating on her, and a girl came and tried to fight her, and he had a gun and tried to, like, shoot her. And I'm like, is it really that serious? Like, you know, we have to learn to forgive each other, and we have to learn to just, like, love ourselves. Because would you really shoot yourself? Would you hurt yourself? Or would you want somebody to do it to your family or friends for something that's really not that serious? You know, yeah, you might be angry, and that's okay. You know, it's okay to feel a certain way. It's okay to be upset. But you feel that way. You take a deep breath, and you say, okay, you know what? It's out of my control. Let me just move forward. I guess the logic of the story or the moral of the story is one that was very scary and it took me a minute. Even now, like sometimes when I'm in Walmart and I hear like that type of noise, I get like a little paranoid. Like I start like checking around me. I was already paranoid enough as it was coming from Detroit. I mean, hello. I had to check myself everywhere I went, unfortunately. Every time you go to the grocery store or to the gas station, you like, especially to the gas station, at night as a woman, you can't really do that. And if you had to, you had to be like on guard. So I already had enough of that jumpiness so that just added to it at first. 
But um, I just want to say, like, guys, love each other. Like, nothing is that serious for you to go get a gun and shoot somebody for something. I don't really know, honestly, the depths of the situation or the story, so I'm not judging it, but I'm saying no matter what is happening in your life, if somebody does something that makes you that angry, just take a second to breathe and just really think think your actions through before you do something. Because who knows, he could have killed that guy, could have ended up in jail for murder for what? You know, I don't know what the cause was or why they argued, but um, just learn to start walking in love and just caring about each other. And just, if you don't agree with somebody, just disagree. Disagree and walk away. You know, okay, that's fine. We don't have to agree. Agree to disagree. So anyway, that is my story time about the active shooter and Walmart. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you want to hear more story times, give it a video, give the video a thumbs up. And do not forget to subscribe. But do not forget to subscribe, subscribe to my channel. And if you have not checked out my siblings tag, go ahead and be sure to check that out. I'll leave the link here. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Oh, and I will see you later. Love you guys. Bye.